What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a cinematic look in Photoshop. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Photoshop opened and here is a picture of a vehicle, pretty old and looks abandoned. Although there does look like there is cinematic effects to it, we're going to make it look even more better. The first thing we're going to do is add some colour curves, so we're going to come to the adjustments layer over here and as you'll see it says curves, so we're going to select this and this is what curves is. Now in movies usually the blacks are more vibrant than the whites and that's how this line works for those that are new. The black tones are marked at the bottom here and then the white tones are marked at the top. So if we bring this down, as you can see the lighter tones go down, but if we ring the black tones up that's what's going to happen. So what we're going to do, we're going to stay on RGB for this. You can do this individually to be even more precise, but I'm going to just be showing you with RGB. We're going to select three points right on the grid where I'm showing you. So one here, one right in the middle, and one just here on this grid as well. Now what we're going to do is bring this down on the side so it's going to be a curve like that. And we're going to bring up the blacks here, not too much though, to about here. So we get this curve and it's going to be different for every photo so don't just go and copy the exact same curve I've done, work out what is best for your photo. And of course you can play around with the points more if you would like to and that's what I'm going to do right now. And you can also use the mid tones here, this is the, the middle one. Um, personally I don't think you need to but as you can see all you need to do is work out if you want it really bright or if you want to make it darker. So that's completely optional for me, I'm leaving it the same. And now we're done with that. So if we take off curves, this is the original picture and this is the new picture. The next thing we're going to add is known as color balance. Again, in the adjustments panel, color balance. Now we're going to come to tones and we're going to select shadows. And all we're going to do here is I'm going to go towards yellow because yellow is usually the main thing on uh, movies. They usually have a yellow fill. And I'm also going to bring the red up a bit as well. So we get this red yellow cinematic look and again you have to play around with the settings to suit what is best for you and I think that's it for me so if I take this off that's the normal and that's the new one. As you can see without it it just looks like it has a flat picture but if we put that on it gives more depth of field onto the car. Now undertones you can change the midtones and the highlights but really we don't need to because messing with the shadows really does make it look better. The next thing we're going to do is add on hue and saturation again under the adjustments and this is what we're going to get. Now under master as you can see we can change colours individually. What the main ones I recommend changing is reds, yellows and greens. I'm going to start with reds. Now before we go changing colours. We're going to point out this thing at the bottom here, something that people don't pay attention to but it's actually very useful. These white markers you're seeing on the ends here, this is to give the colour like a fade out or a really nice blend. So the other white markers you're seeing in between these other white markers, this is the colours we are going to be changing. So of course we want all the red so I'm going to extend that and we want to go into a bit to the oranges as well. And now this top bar is the default color. The bar underneath is the change color. So I'm just going to mess with this very quick. As you can see, the bottom bar changes. So that is what we're going to be doing. And you only need to change this very little. As you can see, there's a massive difference already just going up like that. So I'm going to head towards the red a bit like this. And saturation we can change, uh, not too much as you can see. So there's good for me and then we have the lightness which I think I'm going to keep right here. Again every picture is different so don't just copy my ones, use your own ones. And we're going to select yellows now and this time I actually want to head into the orange a bit again. So like that and we're going to head towards the yellow to give us this darker feel. Then the saturation we can bring up a bit, not too much again. And then the lightness, I'm actually going to go a bit darker for this one, so minus 30 thinks good for me. And if we take this off, that's before and that's after we've just added these colours. The final one is the greens. The greens don't change on here. The only part that is changing is this area here 
and underneath the car. So the, mark, the points are just marked out, watch them again. As you can see, that's the only parts changing for me. So I don't need to change them, but of course you guys can experiment. So we can come down and we can head over to the blues. And as you'll see, there's not really much blue changing apart from in the sky, which again, we don't need to change. The last thing I recommend adding on is something called Vibrance again under the adjustments. You'll see if we bring the Vibrance up, the colours are going to pop so much more. So if I take the Vibrance off, that's normal, that's width. And there's only a slight difference, but there is a huge, huge impact in the colour. As you can see, it's more vibrant, the colours are just more darker, they have a more cinematic feel to it as well. Even the background up here, if we put it on again, it just gives that little touch and just makes everything look so much better. Again underneath there is the saturation, to be honest we don't need to change it, so I'm going to keep this one at zero, and there we are done. So I'm going to take everything off, this was the original picture pretty flat, and we're going to put on the vibrance, that's what the vibrance looks like, we're going to put on the hue and saturation, we're going to add on the colour balance, and we're going to add on the colour curves. And that is everything added on to create the cinematic look in Photoshop. And that is how simple it is to do. Like I said, play around with the tones. And remember, not every picture is going to be the same, so don't use the same settings all the time. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.